Well, we factor, reduce, and then multiply. So if I factor the numerator, these are all leading coefficient ones, so they should be pretty easy. Two numbers which will multiply together to give me 10, but add to give me seven. Well, that's five and two. Two numbers which multiply to give me nine, add to give me 11, nine and two. This is just a binomial. It's got a greatest common factor of k. And then here, again, two numbers are multiplied to give me 45, but add to give me 14, 9, and 5. So let's see here, k plus 2's reduce out. Here, k plus 9's reduce out. Here, then a k plus 5 reduces out. I'm left with k over k plus 9. Now here, I find, have to find the common denominator. So what is the LCD? So dem1 is y squared minus 3y plus 2. And then dem2 is y squared minus 1. So this is y min minus 2, y minus 1. This is y minus 1, y plus 1. So if I look at the LCD, throw in y minus 2, y minus 1, and I have the y minus 1, but I need a y plus 1. So that's what my denominator is going to be. So all of these guys have to be made into that denominator. So this is 3 divided by y minus 2 y minus 1 plus 5 y plus 1 y minus 1. So this one is missing a y plus 1. So I have to put it in. And then this one is missing a y minus 2. So that over the LCD, they don't have the same denominator. This is going to be 3 times y plus 1 plus 5 times y minus 2 over the LCD, which is 3y plus 3 plus 5y minus 10 all over the LCD which is 8y minus 7. LCD is y minus 2, y minus 1, y plus 1. Nothing reduces out, so that's where we're left. Write, write the expression using rational exponents rather than radicals. Well, this is now remember what this whole thing is about, that a that the nth root of a to the m is equal to the a of the m divided by n. So that's what this is all about. So this is equal to 8x. The exponent on x is the numerator, and the index is the denominator of the radical. Here, the uh, power on x is 1. So this is the same as x to the 1 fifth. Uh, properties of exponents, this one is the a to the m. a to the n is a to the m plus n, which is h to the minus 8 thirds plus 20 thirds, which is h to the 12 thirds 
or h to the fourth. This one comes down properties of exponents that a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the m subtract n. So q to the 27 over 7 subtract 6 over 7 is q to the 21 over 7, or q cubed. 